Hallelujah, praise God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession. With Amel, always an honor to have you here on this prophetic platform. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining this community. If you've already done that, if not, please kindly go ahead and touch the subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time there is a fresh word, you will not miss out. I always say you never know when God has a message for you. And to all our returning subscribers, God bless you. Thank you so much for always coming back. Thank you for your words of encouragement. Hallelujah. God says this person is so selfish. They only think about themselves. They are so selfish. You know, there are people who do not, who do not care if you live or you die. They only care about what they stand to benefit when you are not around, what they stand to benefit from your loss. They do not really care about you. Remember the story of the prodigal son? The Bible says this man had two children. One decided to take his inheritance and leave. And he was away for a long time, squandered his inheritance. And the other one, the older brother, stayed back and was looking after his father's properties and everything because it technically belonged to him. His father had already shared his inheritance and the younger brother already has his. And one day, while his younger brother wandered away and squandered the money, he decided to come back home. And when he got back home, his father threw a feast for him, wore him a robe and a ring that still signified sonship, even though he had lost his inheritance. And his older brother, seeing the younger brother, was not even happy that his long-lost younger brother is back. He only thought about his inheritance, that he was scared his younger brother would have to share it with him again. He told his, his father, I have been here all the while, working with you, serving you, and you've never given me as much as a goat to eat with my friends. But my brother has gone, squandered his inheritance. He is back and you are taking him. Some of us are just like that. You know, all what is left is for him. It is his inheritance. It is not about to be tempered with. What is his is still his. His brother coming back does not deprive him of that. So many people are in the same place, you know. Because maybe we serve God and we have been faithful, maybe from our youth till this point, till where we find ourselves. And there are people who have been going in and out of God. Instead of us interceding that they would come back to know God and stay in his presence permanently. We wish they were gone and never come back. And when they finally repent and decide to come back to God, we are asking why? Why should God take them back? Or why should God bless them? When someone repents and comes back to God, it doesn't stop you from being blessed. It doesn't affect your blessing in any way. Everything that God has for you, it still belongs to you. As a matter of fact, God, the ministry of a Christian is that of reconciliation. We have to reconcile the world back to Christ. We have to preach the gospel to the lost and get them saved again back to Christ. And if someone by chance does this on their own, we have to thank God. Some people are just very selfish. We want to be the one that are blessed. We want to be the one that have everything and nothing for the others because we have persevered in his presence if god gave you the grace to be in that position you have to intercede for those who are not there you have to pray for them until the light of salvation shines upon them that is our duty that is our responsibility god will not take from your blessing to give someone else god will not take from your inheritance to give someone else but he would instead multiply your blessings when you get to reconcile people who have been lost back to him. And everyone who is fighting you because you decided to come back to God and God is blessing you, that is their problem, not yours. Hallelujah. 
Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Shalom.